In this video, I'll be showing you how to resolve graphical issues with Elden Ring. So if you're noticing that some of the textures aren't looking quite right, or perhaps you're getting blurry graphics, or you're just lagging and stuttering within the game, then by following the steps and methods that I show in this video, we will hopefully be able to resolve some of those problems. But just keep in mind that not all these issues can be resolved by just changing things on your computer, you might also need to wait until a new patch is released for the game. So before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and you do like this video, then click on that subscribe button if you want to see more videos on how to resolve issues with PC games. So the first thing that we need to do is ensure Windows is up to date. And to check this, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then click on settings. You now need to select update and security and you then need to click on the check for updates button. So Windows 10 and 11 do update DirectX 12 through the Windows update. So that's why it's very important to ensure you do have the latest version of Windows installed and the latest updates, just in case there was a newer version of DirectX 12 included in Windows updates, which Elden Ring uses. So once you're fully up to date with Windows, then the next thing we want to do is just ensure we have the latest driver installed for our graphics card. Now, if you don't know what graphics card you have in your computer, then you can check this out by right clicking on the start menu icon and then selecting device manager. You now need to expand display adapters and you will then see your graphics card. So as you can see, I have a GTX 1660 Super, which means I need to go to the NVIDIA website and download a driver for the GTX 1660 Super. I will pop all the links in the description below to AMD, NVIDIA and Intel where you can grab the driver for your graphics card. Now that we have updated Windows and your graphics driver, the next thing you can do is launch Elder Ring and see if that helped resolve the issues you're facing. If it didn't and you have overclocked your graphics card, remove the overclock settings that you have applied if you know how, because these settings could be causing the problem with the game. If you did remove any overclock settings, then launch Elden Ring and see if that resolved the issue. Now the next thing that we need to do is launch Elden Ring as we need to change a few of the settings within the game. Once you're in the game and you're on the main menu, you now need to select System. And you then need to go across to the Graphics tab at the top, and you need to ensure that Auto Detect Best Rendering Settings is off. Once you change that, the next thing you need to do is click onto Advanced Settings. And you now need to change Texture Quality to either Maximum or High. Depending on how good your system is will depend on which setting you can choose. Once you change that, you now need to change Anti-Aliasing Quality to High. And you now need to change SSAO to High also. You then need to turn motion blur to off and you then need to go all the way down to shader quality and you need to ensure that this is also turned to high. Now once you change these settings you can then right click and then press back. At the moment the game is a little glitched so you need to use the right button on your mouse to use the menus. So also with all the other settings these will depend on just how good your system is. So like depth of field, shadow quality, lightning quality and effects and stuff like that, like I said, will determine on just how good your computer is. But you can turn these down to like low or medium. So once you've done all that, go ahead and jump into the game and see if that resolved the issue. If it didn't, then you need to go back. You now need to change the quality setting. So you need to click on to custom or whatever option yours says and then change it to low and then launch into the game and see if that helped. If that didn't help, then you can then obviously increase it up to medium, then high. And if your system can handle it, then change it to maximum. So once you have changed the quality settings and none of that has resolved the issues that you're facing within the game, you then need to close down Elden Ring and we need to go back to Windows. The next thing to do is try playing Elden Ring offline to see if this helps resolve some of those issues with the textures. So to disable your online connection, all you need to do is right click on the start menu icon and then select network connections. You then need to scroll down and click on change adapter options. And you then need to right click on your network adapter and go disable. 
You could always pull the cable out the back of your computer as well if you are using a cable connection. So go ahead and jump into game now and see if that resolved the graphical issues you're facing as you won't be playing the game online, you will be playing it offline. So if that didn't help, then that now brings us to the last sort of thing that you could try, and that is to move the game onto a different hard drive. So if your hard drive's old or it's on its way out, then that could cause issues with the game. So uninstall Elden Ring and then install it onto a different hard drive if you do have the option. And if you have an SSD drive, then I would highly recommend that you install the game onto that drive, as the faster the hard drive, then that can help improve the textures and graphics within the game as it will be able to read and write a lot quicker. So that does now bring me to the end of this video. If this video helped you out and you enjoyed it, click on the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click on that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video. And don't forget you can enable your internet connection again by right clicking on the network adapter and going enable.